What's going on, everybody? You're tuned into another episode of the Music Mastery Podcast with your host, Lizzie the Gifted. I don't want to do the regular intro. I want to get right straight into the fire and introduce my guy right here who I've got to my right. Guys, this is my boy. Let me just give you a couple credentials, okay? <laughs> Vocal coaching extraordinaire. I do that. Music producer, magician. <laughs> magician. <laughs> Rap revolutionary. This is my boy. The alliterations are crazy. I know. I'm just freaking <laughs> on these. This is my boy. Tech man. Fan of the podcast too, actually. Fan. Of, that's the and above like, all. Yeah. Listen to my podcast listen every day. Like, above all, you like my podcast, which is more important than anything else. <laughs> Nothing else in life matters. I I mean, it's it's a good way to start the day. You know, it's like you know, Thanks, little, bro. little bowl of Wheaties, the podcast. Every time. <laughs> you but, have milk dripping down your beard. You're I just mean, listening to me being like, "Get up and do something." That's pretty much Ooh, it. Oh yeah, these Wheaties are like, good today. Though, you're like, right. you know, you're listening, and I got the I got like your ear in my head, like like content, content. You know. <laughs> <laughs> right. Anyways, this is my boy oh, yeah. Tech. Yeah. Bands, I brought you up in like you. multiple YouTube videos and podcasts. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's uh, here we go. It's crazy because I like I went from listening and then all of a sudden I was like, oh shit, he's talking about me. Damn, and like that was, I mean, that was crazy. Just the fact that like, you know, the past two months. Um, I mean, I guess, you know, since I I got that ill intro right there, I'll just follow up. <laughs> with uh with your coaching course um oh, like yeah. i heard about the pod i heard heard that you were doing um i heard that you were doing work and you were working with artists and you were like you know trying to pretty much like network through your podcast right. um but i mean i knew you through dvc too yeah you know? we went to community college yeah. together that's yeah. really where we first linked well, well you had you had the you had like a music industry club with michael I, pittman yeah yeah with who's michael your, who's our mutual friend uh yeah, that's my that's like my brother, man. Yeah. I'm going to his house for Thanksgiving, man. Really? Yeah. That's sick, dude. Yeah. That's so sick. <laughs> so he uh He's yeah. a homie. That he is was, how that yeah. is how we met. That's how we linked. And then when I and we when were I, we were acquaintances and Well he he told me I asked him, I said, you know, do you think this would be a good person to work with? Um, cause like I mean I remembered like you had a good work ethic. I remember there was a lot of things about um, about like your your club that he said you really paved the way for. Oh wow. So then I was like, should I hit him up? He said yes. Um, and yeah, I mean, here we are, uh, you know, I absolutely want to say number one, if you are looking for help, like you, you talk about marketing on this podcast so much. Right. I mean, it's, it's a hundred percent. Um, everyone's priority is a new artist to learn how to do marketing. We were we talking about this earlier. Like, yeah. I think people confuse marketing with. Oh yeah, one thing. Like, like how do you get marketing? Is, we were talking about like marketing. I look at marketing as a three hundred and sixty degree thing. Yeah. Whereas, you know, people think like Facebook ads is marketing. Well, it's like it, it's not. It's well, one people part get of it. people get people seem to take. It's like you're on two. There's two sides of the fence. There's like I don't want to be salesy. I don't want to bother people. Right. I don't want to promote people. Pretty much just like. I don't believe that what I do is really worth trying to interrupt people's daily time for. And then there's like the right. second half, which is like, I'm going to promote, I'm going to promote, Hey, how are you doing? Listen to my song. Listen to this. What else can I show you about me? Um, and it's, it's like, it's not a bad thing. I mean, to really be someone who wants to promote and wants to take like branding and marketing seriously. But, can, um, I, can I say this? You can say whatever you to, like. To, 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 to speak on those two, we can say extremes of the spectrum. Yeah, yeah, it's a pen. I would way rather be the second guy. Oh, no doubt. The, the person who is really afraid to promote, that person has a way harder hurdle to overcome than the person we need to dial back. Well, they don't, they don't think to themselves like, hey, what I'm going through, what I'm, what I'm actually trying to share with people like I know who they are and I mean like I I was talking to someone the other month and it's like it's like yo you want to do marketing like well, what you know what is a song that you are pretty much like 50 to 90 percent sure like you know what someone's reaction is going to be to this right, song right. like who is the person who wants to hear this song I mean so it's just about you know what 
is what is the way that you're going to get people to invest their time with you? Because you really have like 10, 15 seconds for them to decide whether or not they're going to give you yeah. another 10 to 15 seconds. If you, that. you know, it's so, so you only, no pressure. You got 10 to 15 seconds to win someone over for your life. Dude, and honestly, if that person gives you 10 seconds, they're being generous. Oh, that's huge. That's huge. If you should I, only need 10 yeah, seconds. Yeah, and being, that's the thing too is, um, Something I was, I think something we harped on earlier too, before we get into um, why people should do your coaching, 100%. No, I'm, just gonna, you. I'm just going to lay it down. Um, Appreciate be, that. Be generous with your time and be generous with how much you invest into other people's, um, you know, other people's content, you know, because realistically, like to get fans, you have to be a really good fan. Like yep. you will not get fans unless you're a good fan we were talking about that. to other people. Well, it's I mean that's my that's my mentality is, you know you, yeah. you can't lose sight why you're doing this. It's because there's so much doubt in your head and there's so much going on that you're gonna think to yourself like, am I doing this right? Is this good enough? Yep. And if you just can't like respond positively um, or be a fan to someone like it's I mean you're you're probably real behind. So um, I mean and that's like. You know, the idea of like networking and making connections. Obviously, we're all trying to find the right connection, but you know what? I'm also trying to be that right connection for someone. Well, it's, it's a it's a complete waste of time if you're not to. Right. You know, because that's the thing is it's like, if you are on the, if you're on the side where you're like, oh man, like people just aren't connecting to this, you, you probably don't know who the people are that, that really want to know what you're doing and yeah. people who really need to hear your message. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, it's a you know it's it's a complicated world out there there's a lot of information uh, that's kind of where I'm gonna go into with like why I like love doing the coaching with you oh thank you because yeah. there is literally too much information out there yeah um, it's a lot I mean I mean because like I've realized this too part of putting together materials to sell to people like courses and coaching and stuff mm -hmm. one of the biggest one of the biggest value one of the biggest parts of the value of it is just making it easier to find the info. It's access. Cause like I'm sure. Oh, for sure. You know, cause for I, sure. I could, you don't have well, to Google, but I'll say this too. Google is the most important instrument. Yes. A hundred percent. Like there's people who are like, how do I find this? How does that? And I'll be like, okay, so what was the word you just said? Blah, blah, blah. What's the other word you just said? The, like, okay, so let's pull out our phone. Right, you know, like you can find but it. I will say that you will not be able to just build a million dollar business or a career off just that you need to eventually like I mean you not I mean it depends it, I don't want to say you can't because I I guarantee there are people out there who are really really dialed in to yeah. how they affect people and how they reach out to those people <laughs> and they probably could build billion dollar businesses off of how that. many people I mean, are, is that really though? well most people aren't that most people I mean, are honestly like well you you break if you break down the math it's like you could either find a million people who have them all pay you one dollar or you can scale down but like the thing we're recording this on, that that sent someone to the moon. Oh, the phone you mean? Oh, the <laughs> yeah, computer, like, right? Like a phone, like your phone that you have in your hand that sent someone to the moon. Right. Like back back in the day. In the day. I mean, just people underestimate, like really. I mean, there's always there's always like on the news, like talking about technology and like privacy, and and people definitely underestimate how powerful technology is and what we have access to. Um, but but. The thing is, is, you know, you will definitely overestimate the value of free information if you underestimate, you said, or over overestimate the value oh, yeah. of free information. Oh, yeah. Because it's like, because it's like, you know, you can search just about anything you need for free. Um, and, and realistically, there's, you know, hundreds of videos on every single topic or every single skill individual that you need, right? It takes a village. So um, I, I think the main, the main thing that, you know, when we, when you said, when you said like, Hey, let's, let's make one, um, you know, let's just, let's just talk something I want to say, like as a listener is that you need specialized help. Yeah. You know, you can't just be trying to like, like imagine you're a, sh you're a captain of a ship. You know what I mean? It's like, are you really going to go down to the bow? Like, like look through the telescope, spin the, you know, steer, fix the sail, clean the deck you know and it's it's like it's like having your having your ducks in a row 
is is actually more nowadays, especially with social media. About mm -hmm. I think about relationships. Um, so much more. And that's like what you really opened my eyes to, man. Oh man, I'm glad. Seriously, like, because you opened my eyes to it too, actually, in a, in a funny way. It's because <laughs> of this. Because of this, you know, it's like I never really expected my podcast to, you know. I didn't know what the podcast was going to bring me at all. I was just like, Russell Brunson said to do something every day. I'll just do that. Right. And then you're like, yo, can we do coaching? I was like, fuck yeah. Well, yeah, yeah I know, and then, right? And, then, and, that, and now, but now it's like we've finished our coaching sessions, but we're still hanging out like every week on Tuesdays. And Well, you, dude, I, I, when I came up with, will you help me come up with my course? Right. You know what I mean? And then, which, which is coming out soon. We'll get to that. But um, yeah, I mean... You're, when I did coaching with you, it was like I had a very specific problem in my head that I yeah. needed figured out, and I think that's why it went so well because I didn't approach you with like a boil the ocean like, like, oh yeah, like I don't know what I need. Like I came here, I was like, I know what I need. Well, we actually and we changed from what we originally originally were gonna do. Yeah, after the second week, we first phone call, first phone oh, yeah. call, you were like, I have this group of people. We need to do this. We were gonna do a group. Come through. Come call. through to our place. Well, no. That's the thing too. Is it was. It was. And then uh, you were like, "No, we need to do a solo thing." Yeah, like, that's yeah. easier for me. Anyway. Well, I wanted to focus down a little bit more. Yeah. Because like I, I wanted to do, I wanted to do like an overall like, okay, when it comes to businesses in general, what should they be focusing on? Right. And then I thought to myself like, you know what? Let's just make sure that there's more things I can control because I don't want to be relying on like four or three different people to like get things done. Yeah, I mean that's, I, that's bad. And side note, you talk, and that's another thing that you like really harp on and sometimes I like I remember when I first started listening to us, I was like I was like, like do you really need to know how to do everything yourself? Yeah, you do. You need to know how to do everything yourself. Yeah. Ba, 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 ba. Like anything you think of, because if you don't know how to do it, then you can't really effectively hire someone else to do it for you and know if they're doing a good job or not. The thing is <clears throat> Parts of me, and this is where my inexperience will come in, like parts of me is like not a big fan of when you're really early on grabbing a partner. But then other parts of me sees guys it like... It depends but on then other what you don't know. Yeah, 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 but other parts of me sees guys like Andy Frisella who at 19 started his business with his business partner Chris and they still are together. Same yeah. with Gary Vee if and same with Russell Brunson. If there's a good synergy, like if it's... I mean, sometimes But it's, it's never obvious. worked for me. Well, I mean, think about it like mm -hmm. this too, for sure. And but for uh, but this too, is, again, this is where my experience I, comes in. Hey, I maybe I just haven't found the right partner with the right context. Yeah, I'm a I'm a partnership kind of guy. I'm a relationship oriented business person. But um, yeah, I mean, you you know, it's it's hard, but sometimes just like sticking it out for a year and kind of going through the weeds can be good. It's it's better to be by yourself than be with a a bad partner. But sometimes yeah. it's like sometimes it's just like okay, like. What do you know how to do? A, B, C. What do you not know how to do? You know, D, E, F. What do you know how to do? D, E, F. What do you not know how to do? B, you know, so it's like sometimes well, to it's me, just and like, obvious. But... And to me, like, the aspects of an important partner to me are do you have the willpower to just do something on your own? Like, are you yeah, going like, to get up and do yeah, it? Yeah, it's like, what are your habits? Like, do you have a track record? Yeah. Like, do you That's been my biggest issue with it? partners. Oh, like, exactly. It's like, why do I have to feel like I have to... I don't want to monitor somebody. Well, there's a difference too between building a business yeah. and then like just being in a think tank where you think you're in a business and you think you're building something, but realistically like it's just idea mode. Like it doesn't, like there's no actionable steps, you know? See with Pittman, what I liked was that both of us were like doers. Mm -hmm. He's a doer. He's yeah. a big time no, doer. He's like, he and it was great. He's he is a very see and what's crazy is we felt like we were disorganized because we had so many ideas. We well, probably were, but guess what? <laughs> we won the award at DVC for the best club. Well, and me and him looked at each other like, wait, we thought we weren't. You made, I mean, you made an impact a lot. I remember everyone was was talking about, it, and that's why I went too because everyone was like, oh, you 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 do music? Like, how are you not going? Like that, and that's like Pitt it was disrespectful. Like if right. you didn't, and that was and that was that was Pittman because he was a doer. But yeah. like he's the kind, yeah. he's an he, he no, he's he's very focused. When he gets when he gets a goal or he gets something in his mind that like has potential and he knows he has capability to make it happen, he goes tunnel vision. He's like right. I, that's why I love working with him too. Because me you too, can, right? I can send him songs, and it's like he doesn't he doesn't beat around the bush. He'll just be like. Well, this can sound better. Let's do this to make this sound better. And it, it's like, you know, you you gotta have people like that who, 
who offers solutions first. Right. And that's why I like him because he is, you know, and it can be frustrating too because you're like, God, nothing's ever good enough. But he, he always makes stuff so much better. He has such a great perspective. So shout out Michael Pittman. Yeah. Yeah. I'm seriously and like, you know. Cymatic. If you want to go, his name is Cymatic on Instagram. Is it? Yeah. Perfect. Cymatic. So there you go. So to, you know, kind of tie it back to like what we were saying, like, you know, you should be trying to be the person that everyone wants to network with. I think too many times you people, should be the person everyone wants to be. Yeah, <laughs> it's like right. No, no, that that's some real. That's, that's real how true. I know I'm in the right place is if I am finding people who I like immediately. I'm like, I want to do that thing, right. or or like through some weird, you know, uh, through some weird like telepathy, I start seeing people act like me or mimic me when I'm right. in a place. It's it's got to be one or the other for me. Right. Either you're trying to follow someone else or you know you can tell that that person is taking direction off of you and like if you if you find that then cherish it move into you know exploring how you you build off each other's strengths if you don't then pick some things that you need to learn or pick some things that you know your group of friends or your network they're not good at and then mm -hmm. become the guy who does that there we go I would um, say even it, you. It's cool because what you said was you should be the person everyone wants to be. And oh I would yeah, say for if sure. If you want to know how to become that person, well, well, you should become the person you want to be. I mean, it's it's funny because it's like it's not necessarily just some superficial stuff. You know, I, I remember you were you know that that uh you were talking about about a post you made, and you were like you know I don't really need to be selling people the fact that I work hard. You know, right. I'm happy with where I am. I should showcase the fact that I'm happy. And I listened to you the other day on the podcast, and it was, it was one of those things where I recognized I was like, yeah, he, he 100% should run with that because, um, yeah, you know, people want to be happy. That's way more where I'm at. Yeah, it's hard to be happy as an artist because we're not. Yeah, you you think that That's an art, you would thing. think an artist isn't valued. It's so the opposite. I mean, like, the like think about back when you were in high school, like. All I ever did was stay on my computer and look up music and try to find good songs right. and try to find good things. You know, it's like, you know, whatever whatever the the motive is inside of us, it's like we want to find artists who we can like stand behind and say like, yo, this is who I follow. Like this is this is what's cool to me and like right. that's an experience, you know. So remember that. Like people people are really really wishing and hoping that you are an artist that they can stand behind yeah you know and maybe you only have 10 15 seconds the first time they see you but you know they 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 just don't want to I think you did a podcast about this a while ago when we when we were uh yeah remember we said they don't want to invest their time into someone who's not like gonna be consistent and put stuff out because if they tell their friends about you oh yeah yeah remember yeah yeah I do remember that totally because they're gonna look stupid okay can I okay can I, can I just like you talk about your coaching, okay? Can I please Absolutely. just talk about your coaching? Sure. Okay. So why would you even ask me that? Of course, I, I want you to talk. About, of course, <laughs> no, like, right? Yeah, fuck yeah. <laughs> no, no, man. I don't sorry, want man. you to say anything. Don't, don't let no. the secret out. No. Okay, so <laughs> if you are okay, so I've been a producer. Like I remember the first time I recorded, I was like by myself. I was maybe like sixteen in my dad's basement, sixteen, seventeen, and mm -hmm. we were like recording on a on a, like a a sure mic or something. Oh, cool. Um, yeah. and I made like a beat on FL or whatever on my Dell computer. Um, and now here I am. So like, I've been producing like a little bit off and on for maybe like 12 years, 13 years. Right. right? And I did business coaching and marketing. Like I did SEO for right. companies. Like I would be like, okay, how does someone find you on Google? And, um, I, I, the thing is, is that no matter what you learn, it always felt like there was always another thing that I was going to have to invest my time in and learn. Because I was so, like, I think when I first started coaching with you, I was at like five or 600 Instagram followers, right. which is whatever. And like, I quadrupled that, I think. I like tripled to quadrupled that over that month when I was working with you. Right. Um, and I hadn't even released my course or done anything. Like, it was just a couple of things you taught me about how to post and like how to just like literally how to reach out to people like like my dm etiquette like was was completely picked up just on some stuff you told me um 
And I'm I'm just gonna say this, you know, hmm. if you if you bought Facebook ads, if you paid to get on DistroKid, mm -hmm. if you bought Ozone, if you bought Splice, uh, if you bought a new computer, if you invested anything into your music career within the last six months, mm -hmm. you are sleeping on this if you don't actually <laughs> try to join the... Cause it's, Appreciate cause, you, bro. No, because... because dope. Thank you. I mean, well, let me explain why it's, it's really, really in people's best interest is because... You know, if you if you have a goal and you have an idea, like like I don't even think I've met in the past two or three months any musician who's like, my goal is to get to five hundred streams on this platform, you know, or my goal is to create a video every day on this platform. And I didn't even think to myself like like that that was really as valuable until I saw in practice like what your content was doing mm -hmm. and the conversations you were trying to have with people. Right. Um, Appreciate that, bro. Yeah. Well, it's like, dude, you can follow like, you can follow people or you can go on YouTube to try and learn like you know what are some tips for Instagram, but you really don't need tips. Um, you well, need. It's like, how many tip videos do you want to watch till you actually start practicing and doing it? It's like, right. That's the point I'm at. I'm at that point where like, I, you and I both, we both bought a lot of courses and I bought a lot of courses oh, yeah. and I'm like, oh, yeah. I'm very like right now in my life, I'm not trying to consume courses anymore because I'm like, I don't feel like I need to know anything new right now in my life. I need to, and if I do need something new, I can buy a specialized if, book. If you're completely but it's like, lost maybe, but if you- Which I was. Yeah. Totally. Now yeah. I'm not. I'm yeah. like, bro, it's more important for me yeah. to like get on this computer yeah. and build the funnel. Right. Do it. You know, right. or yeah. like- Whatever it is, whatever it is, I have to do. Yeah, you know, yeah. it's like we, I don't we, need to keep fuck friggin' learning and like we, I need to keep learning, but it's like I don't. It's like I have enough info in my you, head. You where don't. I need to it's, do it. it's not as it's it, after a while. It's not really as valuable to like get exposure to the ideas. Yeah, I mean, you, you got to go through that content loop for whatever extended period of time, but get out of it eventually. And yeah, as soon well, that's as you what can. They, man, that's what they want you to do. Is of they want you to look up all their tutorials and watch all the ads. And, and like that's not even what I want. I don't want people to do that with me. Like, no, I, I mean, I don't, I want you to eventually book. Wouldn't you feel minute. bad? Wouldn't you feel bad if like you were, you met someone and they were like, look, I literally, like I literally, before I hit you up to do coaching, like I, I've listened to your podcast for like six months. Yeah. Like you just, you know what I mean? Like you'd be like, w w like, whoa. And they like never reached out to you. You know what I mean? They never, they never like thought to themselves like, Hmm, like I can hit up Lee. He's out in Walnut Creek. Like I can talk to him. Like he has a phone. He has a computer. You know, it's it's just, it's one of those things where, you know, people think that they see an ad on, on Instagram, and it's like they either completely dis. Like I had someone who I watched an Instagram for an Instagram ad for last night, and I just DM'd him immediately, and I was like, good to see you working hard. And like you know, the song wasn't the song wasn't necessarily like a platinum song, but it's like, yeah, this is someone who's putting themselves out there. So I decided to reach out to him and he was like, I want a beat. Like, you know, I'll make a TikTok to one of your songs, you know, which, which is, which is legit, you know? Um, that's cool. Yeah, it was, it was, it was crazy. Like it just was real fast. And that, that seems to be happening more and more that, you know, if you just reach out and really like have a genuine response to something that someone did, um, you know they they really do pay attention to that and i think that that's like what the community needs because yeah. i because there's so many times where it's like you get dms like god like if anyone needs album artwork i got 50 people who dm me <laughs> which are scammers by the way anyways yeah it's like okay yeah you can do two cool logos for me like i love it but, right um yeah don't you know don't think that don't think that you're gonna do yourself a favor and save the you know four hundred five hundred thousand dollars whatever you can afford because that might be a lot of money to some people it's, it's you know it's a good, it's actually a lot of money for me too but you know money is money is is a resource that you can make more of all the time right. you can't get your time back right. so you know I'm I'm just glad because I feel like I could have spent like literally a year and a half two years this is what i thought i thought to myself like okay i can i can really i can do the 6 a.m wake up 
try to look up all the info, maybe look for someone who has like a, co a, a coaching program that, you know, is like kind of cheap or whatever. And I can, I can hit them up or try my best to like look up the information. But I thought to myself like, yo, I want to learn Instagram, very specific. Instagram might not be that popular after a year and a half. Right. So if I spend a year learning how to use Instagram the best way I can, I could spend six months and then by the end of six months, what if it's like, okay, no, you gotta be on TikTok. Instagram's over now. Well, that's, that's a rabbit hole we could get into another time, but yeah, yeah totally. Yeah. So, I mean, at the end of the day, um, you know, essentially, you, all I'm trying to offer people is some clarity. Yeah. Clarity, guidance, and focus. Those are the three main things that I feel like I'm trying to help people with because I know I've been doing this for some years. And when I was 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, and 22, I didn't have clarity, focus, and guidance. And so I'm like, all right, I'm trying to help Lee years one, zero through five. That right. person who and I know who my customer exactly. avatar is, exactly. trying to help that person give them clarity, focus, and guidance. And yeah, everything I tell you, you for sure can find on the internet for free. It's probably gonna take you like six years though to put it to practice. If you like, I can get it done for you in 30 days. Right. I can take what I've learned in 10 years and give it to you in the next 30 days. Yeah. It's literally that. Yeah. That's how it works, and you'll pay me a certain amount of money, which I'm not going to reveal the prices here, but well, you'll I mean, pay me a certain amount of money, which it's like, how much time do you want? I mean, how much money could you make in five years? Like, I'm not going to charge you five years worth of money. So it's like... I already made back. I already made back exactly. like half of what I paid you. Right. So I, had, I have someone who's like, already like reached out to me like, hey, I want to book a session for you. Right. You know? Like, so I, it's, it's funny how that works out because like money... You know, it's like the rain, like it, it, it'll flow out to the ocean. You know what I mean? You, you, and you get back, like you get back what you put in too. So, um, I, and, I mean, and you the, do give people clarity too. That's actually why I started on the listen podcast. No, man. Thank you. And I'm trying my best. And I, and I would say like, you know, if you are, if you're, if you're trying to get some clarity, focus and guidance on your music career, whether it's marketing, building your fan base, social media, creating music, producing, I can help you with that. All you got to do, click below, book a 15 minute call. We can see if we're a good fit for each other. And then basically we'll go from there. Yeah. Um, but yeah, any, what else, any like kind of last words you want to say before we um, sign out of here? Well, I mean, if you, if you're a rapper um, or if you're an engineer, I had, a, I had a Corey, um, I had Corey hit me up the other day. Yeah. Cause I, I started Corey Wallace. Yeah. Yeah. CW, Legend. CW Midnight. CW Midnight. Um, shout out. Yeah. I mean, he, him and I got into like a little DM discussion because he was talking about how important it is to, um, like for vocalists to really develop like, like their technique and like get the best takes. Um, so I talked to him about the vocal DNA course I'm doing. I did vocal coaching for like, tw like, I know as long as I was producing, I was doing vocal coaching too. This guy knows what he's doing. Um, thank for you. For sure. Man. Thank you. Um, I've been I've been vocally coached by him, and it really freaking helps when I'm on the microphone. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you you know it it's, I I mean the, there comes a time when you realize either as an artist you know as an artist you realize like, okay I really probably shouldn't be real should be, depending on like an engineer to like fix all my mistakes like I, I get it like people use auto tune people use this people use this blah 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 but it's like, people spend all this time Googling, buying, buying, you know, ozone, nectar, whatever they're buying to make themselves sound better. And then it's like, why don't you just spend five minutes and just Google like a vocal warm up and just get like a better take too, right. you know? So I took 10 tips that I used to spend pretty much individually an hour with, uh, people with to like teach them. And I just compiled them on. I was like, how do I just get someone literally like to completely reevaluate their singing technique, give them the tools to really build their signature sound and get in 30 minutes. Like, right. like they could do it in 30 minutes. Like, cause your voice already has the mechanism built to produce like beautiful sounding tones. Like your, your voice is amazing. Right. Um, it is the most beautiful instrument. And I, I wanted to just give someone a quick run through on like how easy it really is for them to sing, you know, cause you don't have to strain. And I just kind of put it out for fun because, um, you know, I just thought like, well, you know, I, I took the coaching course with you right? and, you know, then vocal DNA came about because it was like part of my offer. And then it quickly became like the takeover because the, the response I got 
I showed it to like three people who literally had been rapping for like, and, and one of them's a singer too. They had been making music for like 10 years and they were like, this is perfect. Yeah, that's what I said. You know, and then Corey, Corey was like, there is such a need for this. Like he's like, even pro level vocalists need this still. Right. So, so where can people find you? Well, they can find me at Tech Bands, T E K B A N D Z. On Instagram. On Instagram. You uh, guys gotta go hit them up because, because, it's not how actually it. respond. Yeah. Oh well, I, yeah, I will. I actually like I he, like every Zach day. is somebody yeah. who will, yeah, who will respond to people. Yeah, you know what I mean. So, but I feel like I feel like there's no other reason to be on social media unless you're like, really, yeah, gonna, like reaching out to people. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. So it doesn't make sense. It's called social media. It's not called social anxiety media. So yeah. Right. Like, <laughs> Even though that's really what it should be called, right? So, yeah. guys, thank you so much for enjoying the episode. If you want to get some great vocal coaching, go hit up my boy Tech Bands. Message him just if you want to work on music yeah. as well. Yeah. And thank you so much for watching and for listening. And I'm going to talk to you again soon. Peace.